What is going on everybody, Zach RC here and welcome back to the channel and welcome along to episode number 10 of the F1 2021 driver career for the Italian portion of the Formula 2 season. We've got two more races lined up for you here today and we stand just one point behind Yuki Tsunoda in the Drivers' Championship. We could seriously develop a lead today should we do well in these two races. So we're going to jump right in and get started with the feature race here at Monza. Hello and welcome back to a classic circuit familiar to fans the world over. This is Monza. You can hear the cars ready to go. Certainly the fans are ready for some action. We're all set, so let's get this Formula 2 race underway. Monza is one of the fastest circuits in Formula 2, comprising some very long straights and tight chicanes. The engines spend so long at full throttle, in fact, that engine failures are not an uncommon sight here. On top of that, the 3.6 miles of track pretty hard on the gearbox too. Turn one at Monza is famous, or should I say infamous, for serious contact and incidents, especially on the opening lap. What are your thoughts on that, Davide? Yes, this chicane is a tricky one. A lot of time you see the more experienced drivers all back from full throttle to keep themselves safe as everyone tries to squeeze into the racing line after the opening straight. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Mick Schumacher lines up on pole position, and Cohen completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Matsushita, Aitken, Yuki Tsunoda, and Markalov, Dragovic, Schwartzman, Sato, Nikita Mazepin, Eilot, Alesi, Guan Yu Zhou, and Samaya, PK, Armstrong, Tictum, and Jan Deruvula. Nisani, Galeo, Giotto, and Louis Delatraz starts from the back of the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Only three races left. You still have a chance at the title, but we're going to need some special performances. See what you can do. So here we are then on the grid in Monza for the start of the feature race. We qualified P2 for this one, so we're back on the front row. After the disaster, we had a qualifying in Zam, but we only managed to get P14. Hopefully, this will be a really enjoyable race for us here as we go to five red lights for the Italian feature race. Schumacher on pole, us in second, Matsushita in third. Lights go out and we are underway. It's a decent getaway, but Matsushita's got a better start behind us. And here comes Sonodo. He's already up into fourth there. He started fifth. He moved up a place off the line. Matsushita's got the edge on us going into turn one, but Schumacher pulls to the left-hand side. We see the opportunity to go right and going into turn one. We take them three abreast. I think we just about hold on to it. Schumacher still with the edge off the corner, but we've got the inside going through this long sweeping right-hander, and that will give us the advantage here. Sonodo already passed Matsushita, and we forced Schumacher wide there, which is a poor mistake in our in our in our turns, that means that Sonoda's put back up into second, or it's up into second place. So he's had quite a start here. But the, the crucial thing is we've taken the lead, and there's only one point behind Sonoda in the championship as going into this race. That'll mean that we come out of it in the lead, regardless of where he finishes, as long as we just stay ahead of him. So through this, through the open lap we go, still in control of the lead, but only just Sonoda's just behind us. He could get a good slip string here, going towards this garage chicane, if he can stay close enough. So here we come now, down the straight. We're looking to keep him behind us however we can, so we're going to keep our eye out on the rearview mirror, but he's not getting anywhere. He's definitely closing in on us, but he's not really close to make a move. Will he pull out? You can see the arrow getting bigger and bigger. He's not going to make that move. Will we go over the curb quite a bit, so that can allow him to get a bit a bit closer than he was before. Now the slip stream will be crucial than this straight. There's no DRS here, but the straight is long enough so that he can get a good run on us. You can see he's closing in there. As you look behind us, he's going to pull out to the right-hand side. Shimmer goes underneath him, so that will leave him, that will leave Sonoda occupied battling the German, so we hold on to P1 for the time being. We have to be careful coming down this next straight though, because this will be a real good opportunity for them to close in. And we're going to try and give them the room going into turn one so they choose to make a move. So we lead the first lap of the Italian feature race, going down towards turn number one once again. Is Schumacher still trying to close in on us? He's definitely getting closer, not closer to go for a dive. Only we do that. That's kind of that's kind of our star thing. We've gone we've gone way over the curb in turn one and Schumacher's right there, same as he was on that first lap. We might be able to manage to get the edge over him, and we're still staying in first place this time. We don't force him wide, but Matsushita has also found a way past Sonoda, so if Sonoda's back down to P4, it's only good for us, because it means that we'll be able to continue to increase the championship lead we've gained from this opening lap. So moving further on now into the race, we're now on lap number four. We're still in control of this thing. We've gone over the curb a bit, 
the second corner almost perfectly. They were all were very good with having run wide there. There could be a chance for Schumacher to try and attack him. He's definitely closing in. Which side will he pull out? He pulls to the right hand side. The Tafosi on their feet as we come towards the last corner. Into Parabola could we go? Schumacher had the edge going into the corner but chose to back out of it. And that will mean we hold on to the position for the time being. We've gone a bit wide though, so that could allow Schumacher to we also come back at us with the DRS. He's got that now, he's enabled to enable lap three. So here he goes now to the, the right hand side. He can have a really good chance of taking the lead away from us here. Going down to turn one. Look at the speed he's got. In the frame on the right hand side, and here comes Matsushita. Oh, he's got a huge one going down to that first corner. We're going to dive inside of Schumacher, similar to how we did at the start of the race. And there we go, back up into turn one. We've got the lead, and this time we defend the inside coming off the corner. Doesn't mean Schumacher can't get past. So moving further on now into lap five, we're still leading the race. Come down towards the Ascari chicane once more. Schumacher's still going to have DRS around here. Here he comes now, down the straight. He's still closing in. He pulls out to the right hand side this time. Judge go around the outside. Going into the corner, we've gone way too low into the corner, we've gone over the curbs, and there goes Sonoda up into P2 as well, so we've, we've lost both places to our championship rivals here, and this could really close up the championship if it was finished this way, we're not going to give him without a fight here, we're not going to have a run down the straight, Sonoda's already pulling away up, we're too focused on holding off both the MP motorsport cars, with Matsushita and Felipe Drogovic, Drogovic. so there we go, now into Parabolica, we've run a bit wide, and there was contact between the two MP motorsport machines, and Drogovic has gone way wide, he's fallen out of the top five, Matsushita still remains in fourth, but our task now is to run down our two championship rivals, it's Sonoda first, we've caught him coming towards the end of lap six, he's got just over two laps to go, we're going to try and pull to the inside, going into Parabolica, pulling out to the right hand side, and there we go, up the inside, he's got no choice but to give us the space, and that'll put us up into P2, he's lost momentum, so you will can now pull away and continue nice to close take. in on the German in front, Mick Schumacher, who of course won at Monza in the actual Formula oh, 2 race last down. year. But of course, our task is now with beating him as we move towards the final lap of the feature race. So, there's no worry to us unless we make a mistake. We're going to have a DRS now since it opens up now. Over the line we go, it's a fastest lap for us as well, so that's crucial. So Look how close we get, we're getting a really good run with him. we pull out to the right hand side. There's a bit of contact there, we throw the hand up in frustration. I can definitely feel the contact going into the first corner, but we've taken the lead. And once again, we've got to defend the inside so he can't get a run at us. And the, the task has been completed. Objective complete. We've managed to make our way back up into P1. Which at this point, on the final lap of the race, all we need to do is hold on to the race lead. And we do just that as we come out of Parabolica. Take the first ever victory in a feature race. And the fourth win of our F2 career. Absolutely fantastic. It's a brilliant result. Well done. So as they climb out of the car, the ART team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? It was down to one thing, consistent pace over everyone else out there on the track. We could spend a great deal of time talking about ways and tire strategy, what has occurred on the track, but at the end of the day, the difference here was down to simply being faster on track than everyone else. Amazing skill An amazing show. race today and a very well deserved one too. The team worked very hard to get exactly the right setup out of the F2 car. The works for them and the results speak for themselves. ARTGP winners today. After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Cohen takes over the lead of the driver's championship. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? For me, the RT driver was the best in the field today. Look at where they finished compared to where they started. It's not easy to cut through the field like that in Formula 2, so it was a great effort. And here's how things are shaping up in the team's championship. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. There was also a strong showing from the MP Motorsport team today as they make their way up the standards. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. So there you have it then. We've taken victory in the first race of the weekend and that'll help us take over the lead in the Drivers' Championship over Yuki Tsunoda. And our aim now in the sprint race, we have to try and increase that lead. It's only a five lap race this time. We'll be starting from eighth on the grid, so our task will be a lot harder I reckon we can do it, I reckon we could probably try and snatch another victory.
Welcome back for the final event of the weekend, the sprint race. Here, the top eight from yesterday's feature race are reversed to make up the grid below us. And in just a few minutes, those drivers will be hurtling down into turn one. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated Formula 2 race, I'm joined again by Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as a former GP2 champion, can we get some insight to what is running through these young drivers' heads as they sit out on the grid? Ciao, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. They are nervy moments. There is no doubts about that. Mental strength is the key to remaining calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Formula 2 is so competitive and all of these drivers know that they are going to be pushing each other all of the way. In these sports, you have to be able to control your nerves. We're in good position for the Constructors' title. There are three races left, so we need some good results. So here we go then for the sprint race here in Monza. We're starting eighth on the grid after winning the, the feature race. Can we do it again? That's the only question that remains. Can we win this race? We go to five red lights for the Italian sprint race. Can we sweep the weekend from eighth on the grid? Lights out and we're underway. It's a gingerly gets away here down towards turn one. Shiva got a poor start. We did. Here comes his teammate through the middle, Robert Schwartzman. Going for eight, going for seventh place now if he goes head towards turn one. We'll have to wait for him to move out the way for if he didn't try and make that dive. There we go up the inside. Matsu Shita locks him in front of us. We've hit Markalov and we've got, gone way down low. We've hit the hit him again and there goes Matsu Shita. We've spun him out. A bit of an idiot move there. Trying to go for a space that wasn't there, but you know what? Past Maldonado sometimes. Here we go. Still chasing Markalov in the race lap down the straight. Heading down in towards the chicane once more. I call it a straight with a sweeping right hand of what we're doing. Going down into the chicane. There we go up the inside. Nice dive. Dragovic and Sato are out in front of us. We've got to try and chase those two down. And that will be what that's this lap and the next then the preceding laps are focused on. Markolov about half a second behind us now. He continued to chase after the lead pair about about two seconds behind the race leader Sato and one and a half behind Dragovic. We've got a bit wide there as you head out of the two Lesmus and down towards the Sky Chicane. No, the slipstream is there on Markolov. He's definitely closing on us. He's, he's decreasing that gap bit by bit. If we look behind us there briefly, he's definitely close, but he's not close enough to try and make that move. Similar to the feature race here, Schumacher and Sonoda, where they had a go at us going into Parabolica. Markolov could try and have a go at us going into Parabolica as well. Sonoda's there in fifth, I doubt he could be able to close in on us too, unless he's following Artem, but going towards this Parabolica once again. Markolov's still not close enough to make a move, and we have to continue to chase the two lead cars with no worry about what's going on behind us until we head back to turn one. So coming out at the last corner, and back towards the line to complete the first lap of the sprint race. We've got four laps to try and close down on the two race leaders and pass them for the victory here. Markov closing in, going in towards that first corner. He's not close enough to try and go for a move once again, but he's still definitely getting closer and closer. As time goes by, we've gone a bit wide there. We almost went put, put the car into, into the gravel after putting the grass there. And there goes Markov closing in once again. Will he try and go for a move heading into the chicane through the right hand? we come? Sonoda's still there in fifth, he could, he's lurking around trying to go for an attack. Will Markolov move out? There he goes to the left hand side, but he backs out of it. Going through and going through the chicane, we hold on to P3, so we're still on the podium, but we've still got work to do in this race. Moving on now to lap number three in the same position. We've almost we've almost lost control of the car there. The understeer was crucial. Markolov looking to the inside, trying to go for that spot, going to the left one number one. We've got a bit wide through the corner to simply allow him to have a bit of space, but he backs out of it. So we're still holding on to the position, but, we, but Markov's got DRS now, so this could be crucial. We're still yet to close in on Dragovic or Sato in front of us. They're still on the same gap behind in front of us as they were before. But meanwhile behind us, Markov's closing in. Will he, will he try and go for move? The proximity area is getting larger. He's not going to try. He knows what will happen if he goes for it. Through Ascari we come once again. And out of Ascari and going towards Parabolica. But this is going to cut the towel for this part of the race and move further on now. On to the start of the final lap, where we've been closing in on Dragovic and Sato for the last lap, and we're, we're not in DRS range just yet. And it's going, it's going out to the section zone with what we want. This is your quite underneath the second. Final lap just at the race. fastest laps, so that's just a sign of just how fast we've been going on track. And now here's Dragovic, who, who if you can't see him up front, he's battling Sato for the lead, and that's perfect for us because those two probably in turn one will allow us to close in, and indeed it does. Look how close we are now, we're about half a second behind. And we could have a serious go at winning this race from here. Can we do it? Can through the right hand and hand towards the chicane. 
for the fifth and final time. Dragovic won't make a move on Sato, but we're going to try and go for an almighty dive bomb into the chicane. We try, we, I thought about Sato briefly, decided not to go for it. Dragovic dropped back, and we're up into second place. We have it secure, nice going move. through the two levels we come. We're still right behind Sato here. It's, it's going to take a great overtake for us to be able to pull us off. We're going to try and go for it on the inside. They came close to contact. We've lost momentum. We're still at the DRS, so it's not over yet. Here we come. Heading down towards the square, we're closing in, but it's best not to try and go for a move. We're trying to stick behind Marino Sato in the triangle so we can have a go later on. But there we go, we've hit the back of his car and we've hit we've lost part of our front wing. We're practically pushing him through a scurry as we come out of the corner and heading down towards Parabolica for the final time. We're still right behind him here. This one's gonna be very, very tight as we come towards the last corner. Dragovic is closing in, he's not gonna have any, any say in who, who wins this race. We pull to the inside. And we've forced Sato out to it. Dragovic moves up into second, and that's all we need to do. So for the first time in Formula 2, we've swept the weekend. We win the sprint race at Monza. Get in. Fantastic. You've won the Grand Prix. for ART then after a quality performance so Davide how exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today well I'm not sure what we just saw but one thing's for sure today's winner has certainly showed they have no fear battling it down on the track and who can blame them I don't think I've ever seen someone it through the competition so quickly today's race was a sight to behold and judging from the crowd's reaction went down well with the fans as well. ART, the French team who have been racing since the 90s in various forms of most sport, are once again back on the winner's podium today after a brilliant display of driving skill. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the driver's challenge. Cohen increases their championship lead. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Balsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? For me, the RT driver was the best in the field today. They pushed and pushed and found some fantastic performance. It was a pleasure to watch. And now a look at the team standings. Carlin have extended their lead at the top of the standings. It was also a strong race from Trident this weekend. Fantastic work from the Italian team to move themselves further up the table. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. So there you have it, you guys. We've won the sprint race and we've swept both races in the weekend. We missed dropping only four points from qualifying. Well, that's where we're going to cut the top off for this race. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to like, share and subscribe. We've got a 22-point gap in the championship. Well, can we hold it? We'll have to find out in the next episode. See you later, guys. Have a good day. I'll see you later.